Now that more COVID restrictions have eased, Melbourne is moving quickly to reclaim its culture capital crown with the return of live theatre. Alan Rascal is outside Her Majesty's. Alan, it's about to get pretty chilly there. Oh, Peter, COVID restrictions may have left us all chilled to the bone, but finally there's a good reason for us all to be frozen. The stage show version of the animated Disney hit is set to wow crowds here from tonight. Elsa, Anna and Olaf all leading the charge as Melbourne's much-loved live theatre scene again takes centre stage in our new COVID normal world. It's time to get frozen this winter. After a delay due to lockdown 4.0, Frozen finally takes to the stage in Melbourne. Matt Lee brings lovable snowman Olaf to life, both as a performer and a puppet. It's slightly challenging in that um, you want the audience to be looking at the puppet and reacting to the puppet as well as also having to bring some sort of performance uh, myself. The Broadway hit has already played in Sydney. It's one of a number of big stage productions calling Melbourne home. Harry Potter returns to the Princess Theatre tomorrow. Moulin Rouge is coming to the Regent, while Phantom of the Opera is set to haunt the Arts Centre from November. But as we emerge from lockdown, masks for now remain inside. Audience numbers are still restricted, but should lift as we return to a new COVID normal. If you're feeling crook, um, give the theatre a skip and go and get tested instead, the tiniest of symptoms. Lockdowns and restrictions have impacted every aspect of live theatre, including cast, crew and patrons. Jason Mariner from the Mariner Group runs several of Melbourne's big theatres. It's fundamental to what Melbourne is. Melbourne has a great theatre town and I think, you know, been missing part of its soul, certainly the CBD, so it's great to have the theatre back. So as restrictions ease and our COVID winter of discontent continues to fall as they sing in Frozen, let it go, let it go. Alan Ruskell, Nine News.